afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. It is morning for me, it is 4.54 a.m. and I am headed, as always, to boot camp. Boy, we've got a busy day today. I'm going to take you guys along with me. We have several errands to run. I'm actually going to lunch with one of the girls from my boot camp group who I've become good friends with. So I'll kind of share with you guys how I navigate that. Hopefully I'll be able to take a little bit of footage to show you my lunch. There may be several of us going to lunch. I have coaching calls today. I'm really been refocused on protein and making sure that I'm getting in protein with every meal and snack and really focusing on making that a priority. I want to buckle down a little bit more this next month or so before I go to Hawaii. And then I'm also going to a nutrition conference the beginning of November. So I have two pretty big trips planned where I want to kind of buckle down, continue to kind of lean out and tone up before those two trips. Listen, I'll be wearing a lot of bathing suits. So I want to make sure that I am in the best shape that I can be. So I'm kind of buckling down a little bit more on my food. So you'll see that throughout today's what I eat in a day. So I started my day off this morning with my protein coffee. It gets me about 30 grams of protein right out of the gate. I drink about half of it. I'll finish the rest when I get home from boot camp as I get ready for the day. But we've got a busy day. So of course I'll take you with me. We've got a really good dinner recipe tonight and then just some good meals throughout the day. One thing I wanted to ask you guys, and I'm also going to post this poll or question in my Facebook group, is I have been thinking about creating some merch. No longer the merch that I currently offer. It's not creating some merch. And I want to lean on profi, protein coffee, protein, you know, things that really emulate us here on this channel. And I wanted to know your guys' thoughts on slogans and jargon for merch. So let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas of what type of merch, slogans and jargons that I could do. I'm thinking things like tank tops and t-shirts and sweatshirts and just things that that would define our community here on YouTube. So let me know your suggestions down below. I will see you at breakfast. It's time for some breakfast. I am hungry. I have about an hour and a half before we have to head out the door. We have a lot to do today. I'll fill you in when we get in the car, but I'm going to have a protein shake. I really want to focus on supplementing protein post workout. So I got home from boot camp about an hour ago, got ready for the day, and now I'm going to have a protein packed breakfast with some healthy carbs. So let me show you what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to use the Motivate Vanilla Protein Powder. Now, well, I'll show you exactly how I put together my protein shake. This is one of my favorite little concoctions, and I'll tell you a little bit more about Motivate Protein, but it's really good. They have vanilla and they have chocolate, so you have lots of options. This is a great protein powder to bake with as well, but today I'm going with vanilla. So it's 100 calories, 20 grams of protein per scoop. Just one of the other products from the Motivate that I absolutely love. So we're going to do a scoop of that. We'll do eight ounces or one cup of our Fairlife milk. I like to do some blueberries, about a half of a cup or so. Basically the frozen blueberries are going to serve as my ice and a fruit. So it's, I need enough of the frozen blueberries to make my protein shake shake like. And then I'm also going to pop in some chia seeds. You won't even know these are there, but you're going to get all of the fiber and all of the health benefits from the chia seed. So a little bit about Motivate's protein. This is actually a non-GMO protein. And like I said, it comes in chocolate and it comes in vanilla. It's 100% whey protein. That's a high quality protein supplement. It helps build, maintain, and repair muscle, helps you feel fuller and satisfied for longer, also helps reduce hunger. The whey protein formula comes with additional essential nutrients, amazing things like biotin. So it helps support your overall health and function. It doesn't cause bloating or gas like similar protein brands and people who are sensitive to whey protein can actually use Motivate because it is such a high quality protein. It's amazing that it's only 100 calories per serving with 20 grams of protein. That means 20% of the calories of the protein powder is coming from protein, which is exceptional. And you can even buy a combo of one bag of vanilla and one bag of chocolate and you end up saving about $10. And you can piggyback my code on top of that for an additional 20% off. Absolutely delicious. You do not taste the chia seeds. There's no texture of the chia seeds. The blueberries add just this fruity sweetness to the protein shake. And the vanilla is a very rich vanilla, a very flavorful vanilla. This is super, super delicious. 
As always, I will link Motivate down below for you with a 20% discount, such a fantastic discount from an amazing, amazing brand. Like I mentioned, I use a lot of their products, but I highly recommend their protein powder, especially if you want an easy digestible whey protein that is fantastic for not only protein shakes, but also for baking, highly recommend. So I'm just finishing up my Motivate protein shake. You guys, it's so good. I'm going to head into the kitchen, pack up some snacks because I am going to be gone a big chunk of the morning. So I want to make sure that I'm prepared and have healthy snacks. So I'll show you what I'm going to bring with me. I'm dressed, I'm ready. The last thing I need to do is pop on some perfume for the day and look what just arrived. I literally just pulled my package off of my doorstep of my Dossier fragrances. I do treat myself to two Dossier fragrances every month. It's just something I like to do for myself, a little bit of self-care. So I picked up two for the month of September. Dossier actually replicates high-end brands for a much more affordable price. So Dossier fragrances are actually between $29 and $49 per fragrance rather than hundreds of dollars that you'll pay at Sephora, Ulta, department stores. You're getting the same quality fragrance for a much more affordable price. I will say that the one thing I do notice with Dossier is that the lasting power isn't as much as the high end, but it's so affordable. You can just add a little bit more fragrance throughout the day. That's what I do. And every time I wear a Dossier fragrance, I always get a million compliments and people ask me all the time what I'm wearing. So Again, I treated myself to two new fragrances for September. The packaging is always really, really nice. It's a great gift because it does come so nicely packaged. There is a little card that tells you about the fragrance and then the fragrance itself comes in a nice glass bottle, kind of minimal, which I like, but what I love is that it has the magnetic lid so I can keep this in my purse and not have to worry about the fragrance spilling. I always have a Dossier fragrance in my purse. So the first one that I picked up was Woody Hyacinth, and this actually replicates Chanel Chance. Now that is a fragrance that I really, really love, but that is a very pricey fragrance. I mean, Chanel is a very, very pricey brand. So I wanted to grab the one from Dossier. So let me tell you what the notes are in the fragrance. So your top notes are Hyacinth, Lemon, and Pineapple. So it is going to be a little bit fruity, a little bit sweet, a great transition scent into fall from summer. Your middle notes are Jasmine, Pink Pepper, and Patchouli, and your base notes are Vanilla, Veveteer, and Orza Oris. So let's test this. I wanna see if this is Chanel Chance because I've smelled that several times. Ooh. Yes, it's layers of freshness and spice and sweet and floral. It's really a well-rounded fragrance. It definitely, when you first smell it, you get that woodsy and then it filters into a little bit more sweet, a little bit more floral. This smells incredible. Let's smell the other one before we decide what fragrance to wear today. And this retails at full price on the Dossier website for $29. Right now it's currently on sale. Dossier is always running sales and you can use my code here on the screen for additional 5% off already sale priced perfume. So you get to double stack your discounts. And Dossier also sells a lot of men's fragrances as well as unisex, fra unisex fragrances. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. So the second scent that I picked up is Fruity Neroli. This one is inspired by Armani's My Way. Now I have the My Way perfume already, the actual Armani one, and I really love it, but I thought, let me test out the dossier to see how close it is to the actual fragrance that I have in my fragrance collection. This one also retails for only $29 and of course has and of course you can piggyback the discount. So the notes in this one, this one's going to be even a little bit more fruity, a little bit more summer. Your top notes are bergamot, neroli, black currant, and strawberry. I love the inclusion of strawberry in this fragrance. That's what gives it a little bit of sweetness. Your middle notes are jasmine, tube rose, and orange blossom, and your base notes are vanilla, musk, and cedarwood. So again, both of these amazing transition scents from summer to fall. This one, fruity neroli, is going to be a little bit more summer leaning. It blows my mind. This smells like my My Way perfume. Like I said, I have that perfume. It smells exactly like it. It is sweet, it is vanilla. There's a tiny, tiny bit of an undertone of musk. It's literally sunshine in a bottle, like sweet sunshine in a bottle, and it's $29. It just blows my mind how they replicate those high-end perfumes so well. I feel like we should wear this one today, only because it's over 100 degrees here today. It's still summer, technically, so let's do this one. But both of these fragrances spot 
on to the high end and $29 at full price before any discount. And there are always amazing discounts on the Dossier website and go ahead and use my code here on the screen for an additional 5% off. Also keep Dossier in mind for Christmas gifts. I gifted it last year to a few people and they absolutely loved it just as much as I do. So I'm smelling all good. Let's go ahead and go into the kitchen, pack some snacks for the morning and we'll get on the road. So here's what I'm going to bring for snacks. We're gonna stop at my favorite coffee shop in Tucson since it's literally up the road from where we're headed. So I'm going to get a coffee as well, but I'm bringing two of the little cuties because they don't have to be refrigerated. That's what makes it really easy. It is another hot day today, right around 100 degrees. And then I have the Vermont Uncured Pepperoni Meat Stick. I actually really, really love this meat stick. 10 grams of protein and then four little healthy fat, a little chocolate, a little salty sweet. I'm bringing a mini kind bar. All right, I am in the car giving you a rundown of the plan. It is currently about 8.40 a.m. First stop is TSA. So I actually finally, finally, this is something I've needed to do for a long time. I finally applied online for TSA pre-check. So I'm actually going in this morning to have my interview. My friend Kate at bootcamp this morning said they literally ask you like five questions. So I don't anticipate it being an intense interview, but I'm going in for that first thing this morning. I have to be there in just under an hour. I had to bring my birth certificate and my driver's license. I'm also going to apply for global entry. My plan is to go to Australia at some point with my friend Michelle and we do live really close to Mexico. So if I ever wanted to travel there, it's just, since I'm doing pre-check, it just kind of makes sense to do the global entry as well. But before that, we are going to stop at my favorite coffee shop, like I mentioned in Tucson called Black Rock Coffee. It is my all time favorite coffee shop. So we're going to go there, get a coffee to kind of power us through our morning. After the TSA pre-check, since it is in Tucson, I think I'm going to go to my favorite Ross store, which is literally right off of the same exit as I have to take for TSA pre-check. I think I want to go there and check out their Halloween and fall stuff. I always look at dog treats while I'm there. I just, I'm, I'm feeling like a little bit of a Ross trip just to kind of see what we can find. I'd like to get a few more Halloween type pieces or fall pieces for my yard. So that's on their list. I have a package and some bills that I need to mail. We'll make a run by the post office. And if there is a UPS store close to where I am, I do have a Amazon return. Troy ordered a car holder, phone, car holder. No, he didn't. Phone holder for his new truck, for our Jeep truck. And he hates it. He said it's really crappy quality for as expensive as it was so I need to return that and then I am going to lunch at 11 30 today with my friend Melissa from boot camp as well as my friend Kate and then we also invited one of the other girls at the 5k uh, named Amy so we're gonna do like a little boot camp girls lunch at this really good Mexican restaurant in Green Valley so I'm hoping I can get a little clip even just of my food just to show you what I ordered the one time I've been there I had fish tacos and they were so good. So I'm kind of thinking fish tacos, but I may do an enchilada. We'll just have to see what we end up with when we get there. And then I have to come home immediately after lunch because Palmer has to go to the vet at two uh, for a heartworm test. He needs a refill of his heartworm medication and they won't refill it without the test to confirm he doesn't have heartworm. So Troy's going to bring Palmer to the vet because Palmer's all about daddy and I'm gonna stay home with Lola. I have a really good dinner recipe planned for tonight. I have a coaching call this afternoon. So like I said, it's just a really, really busy day. And I thought what we would do is since I'm already out for TSA that I would just kill time until lunch rather than come all the way home. So whatever we can fit in in the amount of time that we have before lunch, we are going to do that. So next stop, coffee. So I'm at Blackrock. They are not using their speaker box. So I actually have to pull up to the window to order. So once I get my coffee, I'll show you exactly what I order typically when I come here. Here is my coffee. So if you have a Black Rock, what I typically order, I switched it up actually about six months ago because I like this one better than what I used to get. This is a 24 ounce iced Americano with the blackout flavoring. It's chocolate and hazelnut, but I get it in sugar free. And then I do one ounce of cream. I mean, barely any cream at all, about half what they normally put in. It is so good if you love chocolate, if you love hazelnut. It's very decadent and rich and I love it. And I love that it's sugar free. So I'll pop the points and everything and calories here on the screen for you. Next stop, TSA. Well, that was an adventure. I could not find this place at all. Nowhere does it say TSA other than by the door. 
and it kept nabbing me to some residential address, but we made it. We're here, I'm late, so hopefully not too late. So, that was a total waste of time. I got all the way here, waited for 20 minutes past my appointment time because, you know, they're always late picking everybody out of the, the lobby. So I wait, he brings me to the back. I give him my birth certificate, my credit card, my driver's license. And then he says, oh, your driver's license, last name and birth certificate aren't the same. I'm like, no, because I'm married and that's my maiden name. Apparently, I did not know this, nor did it tell me this anywhere when I registered to come in, that I actually have to bring in any divorce decrees, any marriage decrees from my maiden name till current. All legal documents have to be brought in. So I came all the way here for no reason. And then on my way out, I was waiting to try to make an appointment. I stood there for 10 minutes, nobody came. I'm really over it at this point. So I am going to just forego TSA pre-check for a while uh, until I get back from this trip to California because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to drive all the way back out here and then I need to gather all of that information. Um, yeah, I'm a bit frustrated. That was a total waste of, well, end up being like an hour and a half, almost two hours of driving and then I couldn't find the place. It's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. So we're gonna do a little retail therapy at Ross. I actually just ate my little kind bar and my oranges. So I'm going to toss that in the garbage. Let's see what we can find. Maybe I'll feel a little bit better about my life if I can find some cute things. So no luck on any outdoor Halloween stuff at Ross. They did have some Halloween stuff, just nothing outdoor. So of course I did pick up a few toys for Palmer. Ross has such a good price. These are $3.99 for that one. And then this one I thought was really cute, kind of maybe for Halloween. It was only $2.99. And then I always buy the three pack of these that have the squeakers and no stuffing for $5.99. That is such a good price. And then I did get dog treats. They didn't have anything. I mean, nothing, but I did find these Furry Republic. Nice clean ingredient dog treats. These are chicken and cheddar. I got these. These are wax melts. There's pumpkin pie pumpkin vanilla and pumpkin cocoa it was $5.99 for all of these which is a really good deal and they smell amazing and then I picked up a pumpkin pie spice because it was only $2.99 and I think the jar is adorable and I go through a lot of pumpkin anything this time of year and then speaking of pumpkin I did get one candle this is pumpkin spice oh my gosh it smells amazing and this huge candle was only $8.99 and then the last thing is a frame. This is for that old Western photo that I did in Phoenix with my friends when they were visiting. I needed a frame for that. So I like this glass frame. So I'll show you what it looks like once I put the photo in it. So I only spent, I think it was $24 at Ross. So not bad. I do feel a little bit better with a little bit of retail therapy. It is 1030. I have to be to lunch in an hour and I'm a good half of an hour away. I would like to make one more stop before lunch because I don't know that I'll have time after lunch before I have to go home and I still haven't been to the post office or UPS. Next stop, UPS store and then lunch. I am hungry. Quick detour, quick change of plans. I have about 20 five minutes or so before lunch, I'm gonna hit up the post office. It's actually right on the other side of the freeway from the UPS store. So let's stop there really quick. I've got a couple bills to mail and then a package for my challenge on my Facebook group for the winner. So let's do that super quick. All right, post office run. This post office is usually really, really busy. So hopefully not because I don't have a ton of time, but I've got quite a few things I need to drop off. Last stop, lunch. So, but it was fine. So I ate part of my lunch. I ate one of my fish tacos. By the way, they were absolutely delicious like apps absolutely delicious so I ate one of the fish tacos I ate about two or three bites of my beans and then I tasted the rice and I didn't love it the rice to me had a little bit of a buttery taste which I thought was weird for Mexican rice I didn't love it so 
I'm gonna go ahead and put the points, calories, macros, guesstimation here on the screen. What you have to remember is that macros and calories is not an exact science. So I'm going to guesstimate what I ate as far as a fish taco goes and then maybe a quarter cup of refried beans. I didn't have any chips and salsa and I just had water to drink. So I'm on my way home so that Troy can take little Miss Palmer Clayton to the vet for that heartworm test. Palmer, Palmer, can you tell everybody you went to the vet today? So I went to the vet and I wouldn't go with her so daddy had to pick me up and hand me to her. Yes. And then say so I went to the car wash for the first time. Huh? Did you go to the car wash? He can't be bothered by us because he has his ball. Yeah. <laughs> Did you go to the car wash? He's actually really good at the vet. He just doesn't go with people he doesn't know. Kind of like little Miss Lola. Do you want to say hi Lola? Say I'm doing so good. Yes I am. Say my mommy checks my lymph nodes every day and I'm doing really good. Are you pretty? Yeah, are you? Are you pretty? Are you? Do you need a treat? Oh, <gasps> do you need a treat? Well, come on, yes, go get a treat. Come on, oh, I know you're prancing. <laughs> Did you see her? <laughs> Ridiculous. All about the treats. All about the treats. Okay. P Dog. <gasps> you came for your treats. There you go, everyone. So we don't have any power. We had a pretty big storm, well, a big rainstorm, so we lost power and we have no internet. So I'm using this little handy dandy light thing to show you guys my Clean Simple Eats order because this just came in and I'm going to actually have some of this as a snack my first time trying it. So let me show you what I grabbed from Clean Simple Eat. So the first thing is the protein variety pack. I buy this all the time. It's a great way to try out their different protein powders. You get a variety of different flavors, 10 different ones in one pack. And then I picked up two more boxes of their energy drink mix. This is my favorite. I love the coconut lime and the kiwi. The kiwi one is so good. It's for endur endurance, energy, and performance. I like to have these, if I have kind of a midday slump, and I also love to drink these pre and post workout. I also got the hydrate variety pack. This one has BCAAs, electrolyte, and is great for recovery. So this is something I drink a lot post workout for that little bit of extra hydration. And then I finally picked up their collagen. I haven't even tried this other than the one that came in my variety box, my founders box. The founders favorites is great if you've never tried Clean Simple Eats, but I decided to go ahead and get the Blue Hawaii. That sounds so good. And then I also bought another variety pack of their little nut butters, their offbeat butters. I really like to take these with me when I travel. And then I also bought three full jars of their nut butter. You guys look at these flavors. Pumpkin spice. You know my love for pumpkin. We're actually going to try this as a taste test for a snack. And then I also bought the monkey business and the gingerbread cookie. So the pumpkin nut butter, it says almond butter with pecan pieces and it is pumpkin spice. So this nut butter has the same calories and points as regular peanut butter where we know that American Dream nut butter has less calories and points. So this is two tablespoons for 180 calories, four grams of protein. So even a little bit less than traditional peanut butter like Jif or Skippy peanut butter. But I think I'm going to put one tablespoon on a caramel rice cake try it out. Like I said, I've never tried this. And one thing I will say too, is there are pecan pieces in here. So that would make sense why the calories are maybe a little bit more, but that's a good healthy fat. So let me throw this on a rice cake and we'll try out the new pumpkin spice nut butter from Clean Simple Eats. Okay. So look at how amazing this looks. I was just looking at the back of this. The ingredients are actually really, really good in this nut butter. And they said you can put it on pancakes and waffles and toast. I will say that the pecans are definitely going to make this. So let's test it. This is incredibly good. Another big win from Clean Simple Eats. It's very pumpkin-y, definitely has pumpkin pie spice flavor. I love the pecans for texture and again, just a healthy fat. This is so good. For dinner tonight, I'm making sweet potato shepherd's pie. I'm so excited for this. It has been raining. Like I said, we lost power. It is back on, thank goodness. But it's kind of a dreary afternoon. So this recipe is going to be perfect. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need chicken broth, beef broth, whatever you have, tomato paste, minced garlic, salt and pepper, oregano and smoked paprika, frozen peas, an onion. 
meat of your choice. So you could do 99% ground turkey and make this recipe less points. I am going to use ground beef because Troy requested that, but I will put the points for the turkey on the screen for you at the end. You can always substitute that. Again, I'm just using the 96 ground beef. And then I'm going to use the Trader Joe's mashed sweet potatoes because these are in my fridge. You can also make your own sweet potato topping. So I went ahead and started my sweet potatoes just in a pan with some water per package instructions. You will want to pre-cook your sweet potatoes as well while the rest is cooking. And then in a big skillet here, I added my diced up onion. I'm going to allow this to saute down for a few minutes. Then you're going to add in your pound of ground beef and allow that to cook until brown. So I'm going to add in a big scoop of minced garlic and allow it to become fragrant. And then I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of tomato paste, a cup of broth, all of our seasoning. So smoked paprika, oregano, and salt and pepper. And then I'm going to let that cook down for a couple more minutes. After the liquid has reduced a little bit, we're adding in one cup of frozen peas. And again, just allow that to simmer for two to three more minutes, continuing to reduce and get those peas nice and warmed through. So now you're going to grab out a baking dish. I have a six by nine, you can use really any size. And we're going to transfer the meat mixture to the bottom of the baking dish. And then here's the sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's. All it is is frozen sweet potatoes. There's nothing added to it. And we're just going to spread that out right over the top. Again, if you made your own smashed sweet potatoes, you'll just spread that out over the top of the meat mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and get the shepherd's pie into our 375 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes. So I just took the dinner out of the oven. This smells good. It looks really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. So the batch makes six servings. So it is a pretty good size serving. This looks really good with potatoes. We have meat, we have vegetables. All the information is here on the screen for you. For dessert, I'm going to make my yogurt bowl. I change it up all the time. I should do a recipe on all my yogurt bowls. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested. But tonight I'm going to use a Chobani Zero Sugar in vanilla, a fresh peach, and then I'm going to top it with some of the peach chia smash. I love this. It's so good. Actually, all the chia smash is really good. I do buy these off of Amazon in a six pack of all the different flavors. I'll link it for you if you're interested. You can also typically find it at natural food stores like Whole Foods and Sprouts. I'm going to add some pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, and some reduced sugar craisins. This has got a ton of fiber, so I love adding a little bit of that. And then maybe a little bit of whipped cream. I'm really excited for this. This looks absolutely incredible. So there's my yogurt bowl with my peach, my hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, craisins, topped with a little bit of the birthday cake whipped cream. I'm almost out and it's officially gone from Sam's Club, so that's a little bit of a bummer. And then that goodness right there, the Chia Smash. So I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food, running errands. We had a super fun, busy day. Don't forget to check out Motivate Dossier and all of the other items that I shared with you today will be linked down below for you, as well as tonight's dinner recipe will be on my recipe website. I'll put that at the top of the description box. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a What I Eat in a Day or any other video. Videos. Don't forget again to check out the description box for everything I shared today, as well as come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.